Good morning, pupils, students. Welcome to Gulf News. With me here are. Hello, ladies. Welcome for And my name is Daniel Nnaukit. Welcome. First, the headlines. Asu calls off strike. Russia-Ukraine war. The situation so far. Nigerian presidential election campaigns and activities kick off. Gulf International postponed Cultural Day celebration. Gulf prepares ahead for meet and break. Gulf International employs new staff. Gulf population increases. Gulf school changes to new website. Karim Benzema wins Ballon d'Or for the first time. He's Daniel to sing at the World Cup in Qatar. Training movies in Nollywood. And now, the details. On Friday, October 14, 2022, the Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, announced the suspension of its long-standing strike. The strike, which commenced on Monday, February 14, 2022, led to the suspension of academic activities in federal and state universities across the nation. ASU, however, in a price statement released to announce the suspension of the strike and encourage its members to resume to work. The punch highlights the universities that have announced resumption dates following the suspension of the industrial action. Olabisi Onobanjo University, October 17, 2022. Bayero University, Kano, October 24, 2022. Alex Ekweme Federal University, Ndufu, Alike, October 4, 2022. University of Lagos, Unilag, on October 24, 2022, and many other universities. Rolling blackouts are set to begin on Thursday across Ukrainian, Ukraine after the nation lost at least 40% of its power generating capacity. Russian President Vladimir Putin signed a law on Wednesday introducing, introducing martial law in four Ukrainian regions that Moscow have claimed to have annexed in violation of international law. Martial law will come to effect on Thursday, the, the decree stated. Russian back leaders in Kherson say they are relocating thousands of residents, which could constitute human rights violations, according to human rights bodies. The European Union, EU, has agreed on new Iran sanctions over drones. The Kerch Republic Presidency of the European Union said on Thursday, the United States Department said it has abundant evidence that Russia is using Ukrainian, Iranian mid drones to attack Ukraine. They claim terror and has repeatedly denied. Nigeria's main opposition leader, Atiku Abubakar, launched his presidential election campaign on Wednesday, calling for a sweeping victory to save the country from a frightening descent into anarchy. Official election campaigning started on Wednesday ahead of a February presidential vote to choose a successor to President Mohamedou Buhari who is serving his final second term in office. But meanwhile, a wealthy businessman and also the presidential candidate from the Labour Party, Peter Obi, has emerged as a powerful force ahead of Nigerians' presidential election next February, energizing voters with messages of prudence and accountability that are amplified by an army of social media users, fans of Peter Obi, who call themselves the obedience. The obedience are working seriously to winning the 2023 Nigerian election. His Excellency President Alassane Ouattara is now one of the top 10 presidents in Africa. That's all for politics. Now, school news. Over to you, Mary Jane. Thank you, Daniel. Gulf International School has postponed her cultural festival. This is as a result of the fact that the CEO of Gulf Chief Olubenga Olowe has expressed his interest to grace the occasion. The festival, which was, which was slated for Wednesday, 16th October, will now hold on Wednesday, 16th November, 2022. Practices for the festival were suspended because of the midterm test, which commenced on Wednesday, 19th October, ended on Friday, 21st October, 2022. By virtue of this, cultural day rehearsals will resume after the meet and break. Gulf International prepares ahead for meet and break. The break will be on Thursday, 27th, and Friday, 28th November, October, respectively. School resumes on Monday, 31st October, 2022. In another development, Gulf International has employed 
four new teachers to facilitate group learning. Mr. Ogunleye, mathematics and further math teacher. Mr. Samuel, Chinese teacher. Mr. Eze, music teacher. And Mrs. Ogunleye, home economics and Yoruba teacher. A slight increase in the population of pupils and students has been recorded. This is as a result of the new students who enrolled in two different classes during the holiday. Statistics show that the increase is about 7%. Gulf International has opened a new website. This development is to house adequately some of the developments that will soon unfold. Moreover, Gulf International is set to introduce Student Representative Council, SRC, into the school. Mr. Fred, Mr. Labi, Mrs. Edozi, Mr. Latif, Mr. Mensa, and Mr. Ogunleye are currently planning the modalities for membership. That's all for school news. Now, entertainment. Over to you, Destiny. It's a wonderful team as the famous footballer, Karen Benzema, wins the Ballon d'Or for the first time. Karen Benzema won the just concluded Ballon d'Or. The famous Real Madrid striker was ahead of the likes of Lewandowski and others. The award, which saw the start to victory, was attended by the likes of Zinedine Zidane, Didi Ejogba, Sergio, many and many others. In reaction, Benzema said that it was a dream come true for him. He had been nominated 11 times, but never clinched the prestigious award. This was the 12th time he would be nominated, and victory at last. This makes him the first Frenchman to win the award after Zinedine Zidane in 1998. Nigerian megastar Kiss Daniel will perform his hit single, Fuga, at the 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar. This was made known by Kiss Daniel on his official Twitter account, where he revealed that his prayer to perform at the World Cup has been answered. The 2022 FIFA World Cup will kick off on Sunday, 20th November and end on Sunday, 18th December, 2022. His Daniel had been previously arrested following his failures to show up after being paid to perform in Tanzania. He, however, returned the money and opted to perform free of charge on his own. He also gives a one-year-old one million euro cash, declares her winner of Buga Challenge, Oni Consola Adore Gugbe, also known as Ira Star, hits with the new single Rush. After Shakir fans slams her, she rises to the number one position on Apple Music after beating Ashake. The Nigerian Afrobeat genre has become a global phenomenon from the likes of Fela Kuti to New Generation Afrobeat. Fela Kuti to New Generation, like Whiskey, Bonner Boy, and Davido. On Tuesday, 23rd November 2021, the Grammys Award Recording Academy released the nomination list of the 64th Grammy, which was set to hold in January 2022. Five, Nigeria, five Nigerians made the list. Whiskey has two nominations, Bonner Boy, Sems, Fela, and Madekuti. In a related development, Whiskey has the highest number of awards in Nigeria as an artist. Anifulakpo, a five-star review, Blood Sisters, as a hit crime thriller movie on Netflix, ranking the top 10 most watched movies. Nollywood actress Destiny Chico launches a big birthday party on August 12th and took to social media to celebrate. Mr. Babandije Sonolu, governor of Lagos State, has added that Nollywood should try competing with Hollywood and Bollywood, but fans react saying, Nollywood is a no match for Holly or Bollywood. They say Holly or Bollywood are just the best ever. Now we draw the curtains. Now we draw the curtains on today's news. But before then, the headlines again. As a cause of strike, Russia Ukraine war, situation so far. Nigerian presidential election campaigns and activities kick up. Gulf International postponed cultural day celebration. Gulf repairs are ahead for meet and break. Gulf employs new staff. Gulf population increases. 
golf score will change to new website. Karim Benzema will win Ballon d'Or for the first time. He is Daniel to sing at the World Cup in Qatar. Turning movies in Hollywood. From me, Udabo. And from me, Bodhi. Yanjima. Here we go, it's getting close. Now it's just who wants it most. It's just life, that's how it is. Cause we have our strengths and weaknesses. Oh, I have vision, can't you see? I'm 